Thank you, Kelly. Tonight is also a night notorious for being the heaviest drinking night of the year. Rhode Island State Police and many local communities are stepping up patrols to keep the roads safe from anyone driving under the influence. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has more on what authorities are doing live from Cranston now. Well, Shannon, my travel is still pretty steady here tonight on I-95. Some people are still headed to their holiday destinations. Other people are just headed out to have a good time and to celebrate Thanksgiving Eve. And that's exactly where local and state police are stepping in. They say patrols have been increased now through Sunday, all in the name of safety. Don't drink and drive. A short and sweet but extremely important message from Cranston Police on this Thanksgiving Eve. It's probably the biggest drinking and driving night of the year. Sergeant Anthony McHugh says the increased activity is influenced by the number of people returning home for the holiday. All over southern New England, friends are reunited at local bars. He says if you're headed out to have a good time, you won't be alone. Given the, uh, the propensity of the increased DUI activity tonight. We have 11 additional officers out there. Those officers are specifically looking for operators under the influence. We have a number of extra troopers that will be out. It's a statewide effort this holiday to ensure safety. 42% of all traffic fatalities in Rhode Island involve alcohol. That's a sobering statistic police hope to eliminate. As of today, 45 people have been killed on, this, on the highways of our state. We truly hope that this holiday season and for the rest of the year, it's the safest it's ever been. And Cunningham says it will take a community effort in order to achieve that goal. So if you're headed out tonight and you see someone driving erratically on the roads, make sure you call 911. And if you yourself are headed out to have a fun time, make sure you plan ahead. Cunningham says that those simple things truly can save a life. Live tonight in Providence with Mobile Newsroom, Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.